Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my videos where I'm looking into a game for the first time. This time it is Fallout Shelter, a game that comes with warm recommendations from a lot of you guys, but also, I guess, from the entire iOS gaming community, since it is, it is like game of the year runner-up. So let us go into it. I have been looking forward to do this for a very long time, but time, guys, has just been crazy, but I figured I would set aside the time for it now. So let's do a new vault. ID. What's this stuff here? 389. Okay. Let's do that. Congratulations, Vault Tech has been selected you to be the overseer of Vault 389. Good times. The Vault keeps people safe from dangers of the wasteland. As overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the Vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute it uses assigned dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. So that sounds like Sims. vault will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Oh goody. You can get free lunch boxes for completing some objectives. I guess we need lunch boxes. So, standing by guys. Need extra caps? You can sell weapons and outfits from your vault storage. The only thing I know about Fallout, because I asked my oldest son, he said, this is like a shoot them in the head kind of game in the future where the currency is caps because it's the only thing that survived some kind of wasteland thing. So helpful hint, welcome to your new vault overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. Let's do that. So, we have a hammer. First, let's build a room. Tap on the hammer icon to open the build menu. We'll build a power generator that produces power. Tap, uh, tap on the power room. Okay. Rooms require power to function. Tap again to confirm. Build zones are where you can build rooms. Confirm the location by tapping the build zones. It doesn't matter where I do it. I don't know if it does, let's put it up here. Now we need dwellers to make the power generate produce power. Oh, they're coming there. Look, new dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Now, look at the stats of a dweller. Tap a dweller to see their info. You can see the dweller's special stats. This info tells you where a dweller can be used most efficiently. I love that stuff. Okay, I don't understand these statistics, really. I don't know what it means. I don't know anything about like, what is this here and what is this here and so how can I use this information right now? I can see somebody isn't happy. Uh, yeah, I guess um, I don't know if it makes sense to you guys. To assign a dweller, tap and hold on the dweller and then drag them to a room. Try assigning this dweller to the power generator room you just built. Let's do it. Now assign the second dweller to the power generator. Remember to tap and hold. Yeah, let's see what kind of stats it has first. Why can I not see the stats on this dude? I mean, I love tutorials, guys, but you need to be able to do your stuff. So what's this here? We have somebody standing out there. I cannot tap on them. Why can I not tap on that little thing? Plus, it's a female. Okay, so 53% happiness. 54. Now that dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double tap on a room to take a closer look. Where's my OK button? I'm tapping. Do I need to zoom out? Uh, I play too much. <clears throat> if you're in a dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode. Tap the rush button to open the rush menu. So this is where we spend our diamonds, huh? Incident, 30%. Okay, success. 
got some of those caps. Great, you've successfully completed your first rush and collected caps. Let's build a second room, let's do it. You need a diner which will produce food. Tap the diner. Build. I'm thinking we want food here. Now let's build one more room. Water treatment. This time we'll need a water treatment room which will produce water. Tap on it, tap on it. Um, I want the water close to the food but not below the power generator. Great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters to keep track of your resource needs. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Now you know the basic rules of the overseer role. Keep expanding your vault. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. Okay, so I don't really get the special. Oh, you can click on it. Endurance. Agility. Luck. I don't really know how that affects things. So what do we have there? Perception, intelligence, charisma, agility, luck. Okay, I'm thinking for now I just better assign people here. Then I can be smarter about it a bit later. So What's this? this is the diner. Male and female dwellers within the living quarters have a chance of making babies. Good times, guys. So where are our living quarters? What's this here? Volton. So You can send dwellers to explore the wasteland, drag a dweller outside the vault and give them supplies to start their adventure. Why would I do that? is what I need to know. Increase the number of dwellers you can have, it also allows you to breed new dwellers. I love it. So this requires charisma, obviously. We probably need both male and female. Perception 5, okay. So let's move the female in here. Dwellers, have, dwellers with a high luck special are more successful at rushing rooms and getting caps bonuses when the production finishes. Okay, good for them. Assign two dwellers in the right room. Okay. Complete objectives to earn caps. Objectives can be found by tapping the ribbon icon in the Pip Boy menu. What's the Pip Boy menu? Okay. So we need to collect there to get it. So we have loads of power, loads of everything. What are you? You're a female. Good for you. Used to access lower floors. Okay, and there I can see what we need. So perception is water treatment. Upgrade your production rooms to produce more resources. Tap the arrow icon in the upper right corner to upgrade a room. I love it. So, seriously, in the upper right corner, uh, double click. There. Upgrade 250, I cannot afford that. Rebecca and Michael. Jason in the living quarters. Are you charismatic? To not massively. Are you charismatic? No. Zoom out already. Another female. What are you good at? Nothing. Too bad for you. Well, dude, you're going down here. You know you want to. And you can uh, do this stuff. Did I not send her in? Goody. So 250 is what I need to upgrade stuff. We have rocks and stuff down here. So I'm thinking why do I want to... Okay, so that's like you need to spend resources on doing that. So why do I want to go on exploration is what I'm thinking. I don't really see a reason for it yet in the game 
Merged rooms can hold more dwellers, so they produce more resources. Okay, and we have Christmas lights, that's nice. So can you two, like, go do your thing? You can do that. Oh, goody. Oh, we have a level up thing here. Great stuff. So we do need to like click stuff every once in a while. So what do we have here? Water, goody, <coughs> ribbon. Send one dweller to the wasteland, collect 50 food, rush one room. That gives us a lunch box, okay. Well, apparently the game wants me to send somebody into the wasteland. Build additional storage rooms or upgrade existing storage rooms to get more space. Yeah, thank you. Kinda need uh, more caps to do that. So what are these dudes doing? Oh. I love it. So will it become three out of two in a moment, or what's what's gonna happen here? Do I need to look at the smileys the entire time? Jason and Susan, and she's like really slow. If joy is a state of mind, then my state of mind is great. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay. So what are you guys doing? Food. Need more dwellers for your vault? Try signing dwellers to the living quarters and see if magic happens. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. So why is nobody coming outside the vault? I mean, they're happy here. Okay, let's build another living quarters. Let's do it there. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And then I can assign more people to go there. So how do I send this one into the wasteland? What's this here? X zero hand. So how do I assign resources to them? Can I drag from the food up here? No. Seriously. Well, you can go down and live in quarters until further notice. So we're not really in the need of power right now, meaning that Michael Davis can go down there and breed. Oh, I saw them smileys. I really wish we had a Mr. Handy. We do have a Mr. Handy. He's right here. Yeah, but Mr. Gutsy would be way more fun. Okay. I don't get it. Okay, I guess they just need to do their thing. And I need to wait for caps. Your your vault needs a steady supply of power, food, and water to run properly. If you run low on any of these resources, the bars at the top will turn red, shutting down, lose health. Okay, so we are low on food now. So is this where we make food? Or what? So let's rush it. Just to see if it gives more food, it does. Then we can collect a lunch box. You just earned a lunch box. Tap the lunch box icon in the Pip Boy menu to open your lunch box or purchase additional lunch boxes. Okay. So 
So let's see. Unlock here. What are we getting? Cards. I like cards. Water. Elf outfit. And 100 caps. Clergy outfit. Okay, so that's like you get bonus stuff. That's cool. So let's go out of the room. Building two or three of the same type of room next to each other will merge them into a bigger version of that room. That's awesome. So let's build more of that uh, diner thing here. So that was agility. Are you agile? A little bit. You're a little bit agile. So what's going on with those babies? You make me feel like dancing. Oh yeah, they're working the magic already. So does he need to stay here? I mean she looks kinda pregnant, so I guess I could put Jason into the diner. Not sure if she uh, stays pregnant then. So anything I need to... So what was this here? Living quarters. Oh, and we have a female in there, so I can put Jason in there as well. Where are you, Jason, you stud? Louis Jones. Well, I guess this one here is much more likely to uh, have fun in the living quarters. We have loads of water, so... Oh, magic is appearing in there. Oh, yeah. I like that. So what do we have here? Helen Young. You're going to the living quarters, young lady. Oh, come on. Tap and hold. Down there. Room unlocked. So this one here can go in there. She can level up. Then we need to find a new male. I think we need new males for each female. Your most important resource is power. The more rooms you build, the more power you need. If your power, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm low on power now. But I have loads of water. So, go do your thing. So what can I build now? What did I unlock? Storage room. Increases the number of weapons and outfits. Okay. Level up one dwellic another lunchbox. So am I missing power in my breathing room? I guess I am. But let's see what we're unlocking here. Food. Engineer outfit. Caps. Ooh. Railway rifle. Awesome. So can I build another one of these uh, power generators? I can. So let's just make that there. Instantly bringing us power. So what about them babies? So we have one non-pregnant female. So we need to put one male in there. Who are you? Louis Jones. I'm sure you can help out in here with the current needs. Even though we don't really have room for more goodies, but I'm guessing we will at some point. This is pretty cool, pretty addicting. And so we are like super good on water, but not on power. So I guess I could put her up here for now. 
Then we'll see how it goes, how fast it goes down with the water is what I was thinking. Not really that fast, so that's cool. So, make some babies so that we can save them into the wasteland. No magic going on here, huh? Wayne Jones. Charisma 1. Well, it's really about uh, the lack of options. So at some point they're going to find him interesting. Oh yes, they are. So even with one additional person here, we're not really getting... Not enough power. Why? Why are you generating too little power? Why did it go like this? Oh, that's why. Goody. So when he's done working there, he can go help out make more uh, power. That's good. Yeah, I don't need to see the smileys. It's not really that interesting. So, are you done, dude? Oh, yes, you are. Go make power. You did what you need to. So we have four people working on power, and we actually shouldn't be using more power than before. So, why are you not... Why isn't it working? I don't get it. Do we need to wait the time? Is that it? Let's just rush it. Failed. Disasters occur when a rush fails or randomly in any room. Dwellers in the room automatically fight the disaster. Dwellers lose health while fighting. Blah blah blah. Okay. keep them alive well nothing happened so they're good at it let's try again then 42% chance this time eh, and that worked so good times getting a bit of lag what's going on here level up you become better at eating I love it Oh, you too. Great stuff. So we have loads of water, considering that nobody's water <laughs> working on water treatment. Collect 50 food. Oh, goody. I'm tapping it, actually, trying to get the cap, but nothing's going on. It's a bit laggy for me. Okay, so that old dude there is really not that good at talking to her, but they're learning. It's a process thing. So we have... Three pregnant females, obviously not being productive as such. Even though I guess they kind of are, but you guys know what I mean. And... We're doing pretty decent in terms of power and food and stuff. But I would like more quarters. Oh, get on with it, slowpoke. So, what can I build? What should I build? Can I build more power stuff? No, I cannot. What about the... Storage room, 300 caps, that's pretty extensive. Um, so let's just try to rush again, really. If that is the way we get... Unless, of course, it's... Okay, so we have an increasing chance of doing the incident thing each time. Well, let's just do it. I'm feeling lucky. Failed. It's okay. They have it under control. Look at how good they are. 
So yeah. Oh, they get experience for that. I don't know what to use that for, but I guess they get 62%, okay? So rushing becomes really increasingly dangerous. Room on fire. Power generator. I know. I kind of like did it. So how do you reset it? Is what I'm thinking. I mean, if this is how I make money. Oh, the room is pretty damaged. So can you like repair it somehow? Oh, that's nice. 72%. Okay, so let's not rush that. Can we rush this stuff here? Living quarters? No. That would be fun. Okay. So now what? We don't really need the food, but I really want to rush it just um, to see if I can get the caps really. Goody. And more experience for them, which I guess, I don't know if it makes them better. Uh, so, can we rush easier now here? No, still not. What does the upgrade do? It doesn't say anything about making it easier to rush. And still no babies here. Okay. So this is actually taking a great deal more time than I thought it would. But perhaps I'm not really playing it right, so... I think I'm going to be ending my first look into the game here. Uh, because I do have a few other things I want to check out today as well. But this is something I want to learn a bit more about. So if you guys have uh, like tips, tricks, suggestions for cool things to do in the game that I just like completely missed, feel very free to tell me about it guys so that I can um, improve. Let's just activate this stuff here failed. Why did you not go in there, woman? I told you to. Cannot rely on having the pregnant people do it, can we? Why are you going out of the room again? I told you to work here. Yeah, let's try again. Go away. Let's try to rush it. 43%. Yeah, they're not good at it. No, they're not. Well, let's try to rush this then. Room on fire. Why can't I not rush here? Like that. 72%. It's gonna happen. No. I want points for trying. I really do. I was really expecting them to get better at something when they uh, get this experience. Not sure what it affects if their statistics go up really here. I mean, obviously, I'm not assigning the right people to the right tasks. I know that. And I should. Oh yeah. Let's just not. So guys, anyway, I really wanted to check out this game that has been on my phone for a while. And uh, now I have a better understanding of what kind of game it is. So I'm just going to be casual at playing it and probably updating every once in a while. So um, yeah, if you have tips, tricks, suggestions, cool things that uh, I should check out in it, be sure to let me know. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.